Here's an interview from one of our past shows on Rock and Metal Revival. If you're interested in hearing full shows, go to our Facebook page and check out our list of affiliates for times and places where you can hear Rock and Metal Revival. That's from the album Invasion. It is called Zoinks from John 5. And, dude, I'm loving this song. Dude, I'm liking the videos yeah. and everything he's put out on these, too. I'm loving the album, and uh, he's going out on tour. And we want to welcome back to Rock and Metal Revival, uh, John 5 to the Revival. Welcome to the show, John. Hello, hello. It's good to be back. Thanks for having me. You know, John, I remember, I think it was back in January when I first heard Zoinks. Uh, I actually saw the video I kept waiting to hear for an album release, and you just kept us all hungry for the l- release of Invasion. Was that kind of the plan? Yeah, I was releasing videos, and I was releasing, um, you know, these singles and all that stuff. So it was, uh, it was just the way I was doing it. So everybody was getting a video and a new song every month, and then I would release the album, and it's it's been working out really well. Well, I tell you, uh, when I what was the song, Jerry? That you the video you love? So oh, much? I love "Crank It." Crank it. We love that video so much. <laughs> we can't play the tune. Can't play the tune on, on the radio, radio but, but we love the tune. <laughs> yeah. um, John, where you, who comes up with the visual concepts for your for your videos? Is that you, or do you, do you have a team that works on that for you? Well, I always give credit where credit is due, but I do ha- get I do have the thought of a concept of the video, but. Um, you know, people I work with definitely had this visual, but I was like, for Crank It, I was like, yeah, let's use these neon colors like it was, uh, like it's a rave or something, or, or it's this or that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I just like to make the videos, as, try to make them as cool as the songs, and uh, because it's important, you know. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. it's, the song is going to last forever, and so is the video. So it's a lot of fun doing those, and... Um, seen them come to life for sure so where'd the plexiglass guitar come from with the fluid in it the glowing fluid Um, that was so cool that somebody came uh, there's a nam show which is uh like a music merchants Mm -hmm. uh convention and um someone came up to me and said i'll make any guitar you want what what would you want to make if you could make any guitar and i said i'd love to make a lava lamp guitar and the guy goes i'll do it (laughs) and his his name is ken meyer and uh, he it's it's so strange because when people come up to me and say things i usually (laughs) will take them up on it (laughs) and uh he was a he's a fireman in wayne county michigan and uh he said you know, he worked with his father and making guitars and things like that. And sure enough, he created this guitar and it was pretty uh, jaw dropping. So yeah. um, you don't have to be at a, you know, big company to do this stuff. Mm-mm. So how does it sound in real life, though, being liquid in there and stuff? Does it the tone OK in it or, or does it? Yeah, kind of- it's it sounds really good. Um, surprisingly, they did all these tests and stuff. It sounds really good. But they, what the green stuff is, is antifreeze. And so uh. um, I put antifreeze in there because when we ship it overseas and during the wintertime, oh, yeah, um, it'll so it doesn't freeze. Mm. So it, it kind of works out. Very cool. Nice. That's cool. Nice. Well, you know, the one thing I appreciate, John, with all these videos coming out for these songs, it's nice to see an artist get behind every cut on the release and not just a few songs. You seem to have an emotional tie to all the songs on this album. You know, it's not just me. It's any band. They work so hard on their music, and it's such a shame that just one or two songs get uh, people know. And most of the songs are really great. Like just like because back in the day when we were growing up, we had records and we loved every song. You mm-hmm. know, we were close to every song. Mm-hmm. Um, but and that's what I'm trying to bring back. And so we're making a a uh, like video for every song. So every song is very special because you know all the songs are special. It's not just me. It's with any other artist. They work so hard on it, and they choose these songs over uh, you know a plethora of songs that they're writing. So yeah, it's it's important to me, and I know other artists as well. So who are some of your early influences to get you started on the guitar, and why the Telecaster? 
because that's like um, a I think a country guitar is when I see the Telecaster, but you don't sound you make that thing sound way different than anything I've ever heard, which is yeah totally awesome. Thank you, thank you. It's it's from you know I guess the two things um, of your question. My influence was TV. I love TV. Happy Days, Brady Bunch, mm-hmm. um, Laverne and Shirley, all, all oh, of that yeah. stuff. And then Hee Haw, too. So I love, there were oh, yeah. amazing musicians on Hee Haw. And I knew that I wanted to play electric guitar. Mm-hmm. And I saw them playing electric guitars. But they all were Telecasters. So I thought uh-huh. the Telecaster was the only electric guitar that was ever made. I didn't know there was any other shapes. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was so young. I was yeah. so little. And um, that's why I have a fondness for tellies is because I saw that at a, such an early age. Mm. And that's what it's all about. It's, yeah. it's like, you know, it's nostalgia. It's just anything like that. It's 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 things okay. that you grow up with. And uh it's it's uh, totally you know, good, so i yeah. guess that answers both questions yeah yeah, yeah definitely and, that's cool now john i've had the chance to see you play with marilyn manson and rob zombie what have you taken away from your time with both those artists is they're very visual shows and very intense yeah um it is really really intense um and just like for my love of kiss or anything like that it mm-hmm. was I love that visual aspect because it's all entertainment and we just want to be entertained. And, um, you know, I'd love to see great musicians playing their awesome songs, but with huge production behind them because mm-hmm. it's entertainment. And these tickets are not yeah. cheap. When, you know, I used to go see bands back in the day, I wanted to see a show. I wanted to get my money's worth. And, mm-hmm. um, both with Manson and zombie, I think you definitely get your money's worth. That's for sure. Yeah, definitely. Now, speaking of Kiss, you've gotten to work with a couple of guys from Kiss, which is pretty, pretty crazy. I imagine being growing up on them, like you know, like we did. You know, you got to work with Paul Stanley and Ace Frehley. How was that? It was incredible. Um, you know, they're my my friends, but they're also my major heroes. <laughs> Yeah, they that's were my be weird. heroes, you know, growing up. Yeah, I used to think when I loved them when I was so young. I used to think they weren't real people, and mm-hmm. uh, and it was just. But now they're my friends. You know, I talk to Peter like you know at least once a week, and you know, I'm wow. very close with all the guys. So that's it's cool. uh, it's wonderful. So, John, who are you taking out with your band uh, when you hit the road here coming up to on the invasion tour? I'm sorry, one more time. Who's who's in your band uh, when you come out on the road here for the Invasion Tour? Well, I've had Ian Ross, who's on bass. He's been with me since the beginning, um, since I was touring and in 2015. And Logan Miles Nix, who I've had on drums for a long time. And, uh, you know, they're great musicians. That's the thing. That's the hard thing about these guys is Logan, our drummer, was stuck in Europe. And we had this show to do in LA and um, I had to get another drummer but as you know this stuff is so complicated yeah. I can't just get any drummer yeah. so it was a very stressful process so that if anything happened to these guys I'd kind of be screwed I'd you know mm-hmm. probably have to cancel a show because not many people can just you know jump in and play these songs it's, mm-hmm. it's a lot of mm-hmm. work and a lot of commitment you know so I I enjoy watching you on the that Axis TV show, the Top Ten Revealed. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> how did the, how did how did you get hooked up with that? Because that's cool. I because a lot of your a lot of the things you say, I, I totally am thinking the exact same thing. Yeah, um, I don't. They just reached out to me, but I think on the last episode, I wore a really funny shirt. It was like a a baby. It was a picture of a baby, and it just said, I love nipples. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, i gotta, got to record yeah. that one. <laughs> so uh, I think I remember, and I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe I wore that shirt. <laughs> so next time you watch that, look yeah, out for that shirt. Definitely. It's funny. 
<laughs> Definitely. Uh, I was just reading the other day online, and I wanted to ask you about this since we were talking to you today. It said that you had worked on an album with David Lee Roth back in uh, 2014, and, and according to Dave in a last uh, interview, he said it's going to see the, the, the light of day. Um, can you tell us anything or anything about that? Well, yeah, me and Dave have been close, and we've always uh, written songs, and we have a plethora of songs, you know, a ton of songs. And so, you know, I've been writing with him since 98, and um, we're going to see what happens. I don't know what he's going to release, but I'm excited because, you know, I'm a fan of Dave, and we all love him. Oh, yeah, Dave's a, Dave's a great entertainer. Uh, for all of our listeners who are listening uh, or, or on our shows around uh, the world, can you tell us um, if, if they're planning on catching one of your shows on this Invasion Tour? I know the people in the Midwest where we're, we're stationed in Chicago get a chance to see at Reggie's November 2nd Ooh, or in cool Ringo, uh, Wisconsin, on November 3rd. What can fans expect or what, what should they expect to see when they're coming out to see a, a John 5 headlining show? You know, it's we're going to do tons of tunes. We're going to do bluegrass. We're going to do rock. We're going to. I'm going to be playing banjo, mandolin. We do oh. this medley of like you know 50 you know riffs that you'll know. We're going to have our uh, monsters come out. It's a huge show. We're going to have the amplifiers turn into TVs. Ooh. I mean, it's such a crazy experience. Cool. People love it and. I'm so thankful because I do this just for the love of music and it's just from the heart. But people come out in droves to these shows and I'm just so thankful for that because it is just for the love of guitar and the love of music. I like that the new album, the album, uh, a lot of instrumental guitar albums are, you know, 40 minutes of uh, bumblebees fighting against different background music. But this one has so many different varieties in it. I really dig it. Like, are you playing, is that an actual uh, pedal steel guitar, or are you playing just slide on your telly on, the, on a couple of those? I am playing, uh, yeah, there's a few songs like that. I'm playing all sorts of different instruments. I do a little lap steel mm. on there, and um, mandolin and banjo, and a lot of well, electric guitar, that's for sure. So. Yeah. It's, um, but we perform the music just like how it's recorded, and there's an art like that in itself. And, yeah. um, it's a lot of fun, and I encourage people to like bring out your phones, you know, record if you want, mm -hmm. do whatever you want. It's your phone, do it, you know, because there's a lot of people like that can't get to the shows or that, you know, have disabilities or don't have the money. So I'm like, hey, record as much as you guys want. So, yeah, it's um, I promote it. So like one of our favorite songs we said before is that crank it. Now, when it gets mellow, the halfway through, it kind of just mellows and you do some nice, tasty guitar stuff. You think that part could have used some cowbell? Oh, absolutely. There's, <laughs> everything could use cowbell. <laughs> Up in Ringle, cowbell's going to go huge. Yeah, dude, everything. Yeah. Add, add it to everything, and it'll go, yeah. it'll go crazy. Bring, if you come to the show, just bring a cowbell. <laughs> All right, that sounds great. <laughs> we actually have have a few of them around. We're there always ready. Go. We're always ready. <laughs> it's wonderful. Well, John, we want to appreciate, we really appreciate you taking time to talk with us today. And uh, we also know that you're going to be uh, in the area in uh, 2020. In uh, February, you're going to be in Milwaukee with Queensryche, too. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. in, in, at, uh, in Milwaukee. So that could be a possible show that you see us at. And, yeah. Uh, we want to we want to wish you the best. We love the new album. February and, uh, in Wisconsin, yeah. nothing better. Yeah, it's like no, nothing bikini better, but... bikini weather. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, but we want to play another track off the album, and, and we asked you what you wanted to hear, and you said I, I want it all. Tell us what the significance is of this song with you, John. Um, I now with that with the me saying I want it all. That's a talk box. And I'm mm -hmm. playing guitar and playing the notes and mouthing it on the mic, and it's um, it's really cool. The video is kind of like if you're on Instagram, but I'm you know they're so obsessed with their phones and so hypnotized with their phones, the 
premise is, is I'm standing right in front of you, but you're looking at me playing on your phone. And it's just like yeah. that thing of people are so obsessed with their phones and, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun and it's the video is totally weird and just, you know, it's girls cool, yeah. and guitar solos and like morphine fun. faces and stuff, which is really yeah, it's weird. A, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. People love